Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to another CTM map. This is Super Hostile Infernal Sky 2, the third map made by Vex. These are the rules, feel free to read them. I know them. If you've watched me before, I'm sure you do too. If you've played them before, I'm sure you do too. But yeah, so uh, let's get on with this, sh shall we? Now, let's take inventory. Um, oh. One thing you'll note is oh, the gravel texture. What's happened? Well, as you can see in the top left corner, we are in Minecraft 1.0.0. This map uh, was originally made for, I think, beta 1.6 or 1.73. Then he made an update, and the updated version... Oh, <laughs> silly me, we forgot the chests. Oh, I'm such a clown. Um, yeah, the updated versions were made for... Oh, that's nice. Uh, they were made for... What were they made for? 1.2.5. So I'm getting distracted because my mouse keeps ending up way, way down here. We don't need that. Uh, we do need that. And we don't need those. In fact, I'll take them anyway just in case. So, yeah, the updated version was made for 1.2.5. But as you can see, we are in two versions lower. So yeah, things might go wrong. This might not make it onto YouTube. The reason I'm in 1.0.0 instead of 1.7.2 is because I tried, uh, I think about a month or two ago, I tried to do this in 1.7.2. But unfortunately, the there was an issue in the sense that there was a... I'm not going to spoil it because that'll spoil the map, but something later on requires a feature that was removed in Minecraft. It was removed by 1.7.2. I cannot remember what update was removed in though. I think it was like 1.5 or something like that. Um, but yeah, this feature that was removed was required later on in the map to make it challenging. Um, basically, it was really, really easy because this feature was not a thing. But yeah, let's go get some trees. Or a tree first. Oh, that's going to get so annoying. Like I can deal with everything else, but my mouse ending up way down here. When I oh we got a level two battle sign already, um, so as you'll notice I did oh there we go just change that over yeah I did get to the um, tree pretty quickly I did know where it was I have believe it or not uh, played this map before I've actually done a series on it uh, on my channel that's unlisted I think is in the unlisted playlist at the moment so it's not not available to watch. Please tell me I didn't just lose that. I think I did. Oh well, rip. Um, so yeah, unlisted playlist. That's where the my original Infernal Sky 2 playthrough is. Uh, I actually have got a bit of history with this map. It was this map that was the first series, the first ever Minecraft video I watched was somebody playing this map. Uh, it was a, an acquaintance of mine back in the day. Um, not, not like a friend, just someone I knew to speak to, and I checked. Unfortunately, I don't think he's got a channel anymore. I'm pretty sure he shut it down. Anyway, I've not, I've not spoken to him in years. But yeah, it was him that introduced me to Minecraft uh, indirectly. He didn't like say, "Oh, you should play this game." It was just I saw on social media he posted a video, and I hopped onto YouTube and I saw he was playing this game. I had no idea what it was, but believe it or not, I got the wrong idea at first. I thought Minecraft was just this map. Right, just this map. It wasn't like a randomly generated world, but it, yeah, it was just all this. And my, I thought you had to get the wool, and that was it. That was Minecraft. Believe it or not, that's that's exactly what I thought. I kid you not. But I wasn't disappointed. Like I, I really, really wanted to play this game, even if it was just for this map, even if it was just to collect the wool and whatnot. Because I just thought it was so cool how you could, you know, collect stuff from chests, raid dungeons, um fight mobs, all that sort of stuff, and build houses of course, I saw he built a house and it wasn't amazing, but it still looked so cool at the time, so loads and loads of history with this map I'm tempted to go down and get the other piece of wood but I think we'll just surrender it for now, let's make sure my sounds aren't too high alright there we go, I knew there was something here see that'll be cool May as well grab the chest. Alright, so there's a victory monument over there in full view if you haven't noticed. Uh, let's put this here because 
I can't hotkey to six. Well, I can if I do that. <laughs> I hotkey straight to five. Um, it better be. Uh, let's see. I've I've got fear. I'm going to press F. Uh, my record key F4 by accident when I tried to toggle perspective. I was just trying to get my bearings there. All right. Anyway, so we're 1.0.0. The this was the full release of Minecraft. Let's see if we can grab some more saplings here. Oh, there's the two pieces of the, the two logs down there. Oh heck, that was a major uh, collapse. Let's go down for them. Probably not worth it, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, 1.0.0. Uh, things might go wrong. This was built, as I said, this particular version of the map was built for 1.2.5. So yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely sure things are going to go wrong. But we'll see. I don't think they should. I think it should be okay. Uh, we don't have Optifine for this version. Optifine... For those that don't know, I'm sure everyone knows, a lot of the older versions were taken off about, I don't know, a year and a half ago. Um, so you can't get, like, you, you could originally get 1.0.0 for Optifine. Um, but, oh man, I'm running low on food. You could originally get one, uh, Optifine for 1.0.0, but now you can only get it if you download it from a third party site, which I'm not willing to go and look for. Uh, let's get those on our bar. Um, I did ha I did try to uh, uh, load this up in 1.2.5. The reason I didn't end up playing it in 1.2.5 was because it crashed. So, and 1.1 crashed as well. And I'm pretty sure 1.3, 1.4, and 1.5 will crash. <laughs> so rip. I need to get that fixed somehow. I mean, I don't need to get it fixed, that's the thing. It's just a case of... Is it? Is it seriously... Yeah, okay, the sun's going down. I'm, I was thinking this day is taking so long to go by. I'm probably going to go and like get rid of the extra logs that I missed there because that's going to annoy me if the tree's just sitting there despawning. Um, but I'll do that off camera. Right now, we have got a mission. That mission is to make safe the Victory Monument. Uh, let's grab some logs, eh, not logs, some cobble, and we'll head over. So yeah, 1.0.0, there's going to be a lot that's different. For example, dry crafting is the biggest thing. Also, my mouse ending up down here when um, I pause or go into, the, uh, go into the inventory screen, the inventory menu. That's different. Um, that sound is actually very quiet. I'll have to get my uh, bearings with regards to how, uh, or get my levels right, I should say. Are we are we on hard? Yeah, we're on hard. Obviously, our health's running out. I've just not seen a single mob yet. It's just natural. Whenever I don't see mobs, I've always got a, a fear of the mobs not spawning lich, which plagued me for so, so long. There's got to be some mobs behind here, right? Apparently not. Well, there's one mob. Mobs didn't seem to be spawning. That's really strange. Anyway, we got to the Victory Monument. I really would have expected more. Given this is super hostile. And mobs are the name of the game. Alright, so the aim is to get all 19 wool. Um, I would really like some wool at the minute. Oh, we got some of that. I'm going to take some strength, I think. And uh, we'll take some of that. I really want to go and grab white wool right now. But I've got no food, that's the thing. I'm pretty sure there was food in one of those chests and I just missed it. Typical me. Yes, yeah, so there's no mobs over there. Oh, uh, you know why? Ah, uh, it's because mobs can spawn in bedrock. And they can't in other versions. Alright, well, that's interesting. Oh, I can't sprint anymore. We're going to have to get the zombie to come over and give us food. Hmm, this is... This is interesting. I never thought about this. We can head over there as well. We'll just build the bridge, see where this goes. 
That was close. But we made it. Alright. So as you can see over there, there is an intersection. I'm really, really hoping there's food here. Oh, right, look at this. Old AI. Old AI of mobs. He strafes... He strafes to the, the left. His right. Their right, my left. <laughs> oh my goodness, I want one hunger. Did I get anything? I did get something from the zombie. Well, I mean, it's got me hungry, but it's better than nothing. Alright, here we are. Got some saplings. Ah, we got... Yeah, I knew that was there. <laughs> That's one of the things I remember about the original... Uh, the original thing. So it doesn't seem as difficult as I would expect. But that could be because of the um, the idea that oh, mobs spawn on the bedrock and so most of them are spawning on the area of the world below. In fact, you know what, we've got one level. Let's... Oh, you can't shift click. Let's put one level into the sword and hope we get something good. No chance of getting unbreaking, thankfully. Oh, actually, to be fair, arm breaking would be good even uh, even in this early stage. Right, so I do see a skeleton over there. Oh, come on. Oh, I keep trying to hawk key stuff into my inventory. And we'll just eat up all our cookies, and it's not even going to get us to half full. Okay, it is. There we go. Crumbs. And we are trapped. I'll just have to use... Oh, we could use glowstone. There's nothing wrong with using a bit of glowstone. So yeah, the uh, the mobs down there... Or the mobs are spawning down there. There's loads of spawning space for mobs. And that's probably why there's not that many spawning in these areas. There's also a lot of light. Ooh, spider jockey. Oh man, I really want to take the guy. Maybe we can get the spider over here. Come on. I'm getting into this now. I wasn't. Oh, we've got Bane of Arthropods, don't we? There we go. Then we've got that guy. Uh, oh, we can use our health pot. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably need this. Come on. There we go. Easy as you like. Only took half a heart. Ah, uh, now we're going to have to run across real quick. Oh, wait, we can't. We're out of blocks. That zombie hasn't seen me. Hmm. Alright, we'll just get the glowstone going. There we go. Maybe this is like, uh, oh, I forgot. I think there's a spawn over there. No. Blap. Oh, I promise you, if I die in this map where, like, most of the mobs aren't batting an eyelid. I'm going to be very miffed. That's probably not a good idea. Also, you can hear the taking damage is slightly different. Uh-oh. Yep. Oh, Flip, he did a bunch of damage, that guy. Alright, there's a spider spawner underneath. I know that. Whoa! There we go, got him. Let's get this. Get the white wool and get out. Oh, alright. Well, it's not been too badly. Oh, we, uh, it's not going too badly, I should say. Whoa! I was very, very worried about that. I'm not going to lie. Oh, there's another one. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna have to run. In fact, you know what? There we go. Okay. I was just a bit worried it would, like, drop the sand and I would fall into the abyss. That would not have been good. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, for starters, we won't have to use this health potion. But uh, we'll just have to keep going. I need to... I want to sprint, though. That's the thing. It's probably not a good idea. 
Right, let's get some zombie flesh now. In fact, you know what? We need to get a bed. So we'll head back to the monument and hopefully make our home there. Of course, there are downsides to using 1.0, as in, like, noticeable downsides, like, I can't, uh, you know, you, you need to double tap W to sprint. I'm aware there was a guy behind me. It's nice to play with the old mobby eye, though, I'm not going to lie. It's really, really cool. I want to say it's nostalgic. It is nostalgic. I played uh, I played the demo for nine months, and that had the old mobby eye. Uh, Alright, let's place down. Uh, one of these. And let's get our bed going. I see they've changed beds in uh, the 1.12 snapshots, so you can make them any colour. But we'll just have to use the uh, the classic classic red one. So we'll place the first wool, and I think that'll be it for episode 1. Thank you all very, very, very much for watching. Um, I'm going to have a think. That was quite easy, I'm not going to lie. I expected it to be a bit more challenging. Um, however... I'm going to restock and really consider things and then I'll come back next episode hopefully and I'll see we'll see if I can continue. But uh, until then, thank you very much. Your viewing is much appreciated and I will see you when I see you. Bye for now.